Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, watercolor pencil tutorial and what I'm going to use is only six colors for uh, this uh, wintry landscape with the birch tree and I'm using uh, the flat um, brushes also uh, paper uh, tape and uh, a good quality of Fabriano uh, aquarelle paper which is uh, 240 grams and I've divided it in four because I'm going to draw this nice little uh, card like um, landscaping and I will be using as less lines as possible and the setup I will be doing with a Stettler fine liner just a little bit of detail and uh, it's my first study in color uh, pencils of uh, the the watercolor pencils I did some in black and white and I thought it was time uh, to do this year in color and I'm setting up here a very simple birch tree with uh, some branches using as uh, less lines as possible and I do want a little bit of detail of course for the skin of my tree which is mainly a white one with a little bit of color in it and but it really uh, stands out nicely in a white landscape and here I'm drawing in some branches that are sticking out of the ground and um, a little bit of detail on the tree itself if you want you can always uh, put the video in half uh, time if you want you have that you have <laughs> sorry you have that kind of button uh, button on the YouTube and you can draw along if you want but as I was saying you don't have to be all that good an artist to do a little landscape like this you can just put in some little scribbly lines and here on the left side I want to draw in another tree I will put that in first because behind that tree there will be a tiny house and this is the roof and I kind of uh, want to keep it in perspective a little bit the roof is hanging over and there's a little uh, front porch on that and some uh, planks here and a tiny window that is just visible behind the big roof but again I try to use as a little line as possible so I do not get all into detail uh, or something just put in some electricity poles here like it's uh, really on a, a farmerly uh, landscape and uh, well maybe a little bush here there are no leaves because it's it's the middle of the winter of course um, well for the branches I simply use some some line strokey lines and uh, not much more here's some grasses and well the setup is done now the fun part and that is the trying out of my new watercolor pencils and I start with the mid blue dark blue and because uh, I'm not yet an, a trained uh, watercolor painter if you want or artist I thought it would be nice to start out with the watercolor pencils I'm uh, very used to drawing with pencils 
and I am not yet used to、uh, actually using a brush. So I thought that was that would be nice also for you to try and start to、uh, get acquainted with. Now over the blue, I'm putting in a gray. Because you will notice once、uh, the water hits those pigments,、uh, that really comes to shine. Here you can see the effect. I've、uh, taken a little bit of water into the brush, and I'm starting to dissolve, if you like, the pigments in the watercolor pencils. And you can see instantly that this gives an amazing effect. Of,、uh, well, it sure looks like aquarelle, like real、uh, paint, if you want. The watercolor that you can buy in the tubes, and but this works very nice for me because I have the feel I still can control it. Here I have a little bit blue left in my brush, and I put it a little bit on the snow. So I'm taking a little bit of blue and put it on the roofs. Okay, next color. I've taken out the burnt sienna. It's a dark brown, and、uh, of course,、uh, the skin of the tree, the birch tree, is white. But there's also a little bit of color in it, so I'm putting it in, and I'm also using the dark brown for the shadow parts that is in my little house, and here on the fence, a little bit on the staircases, and a little bit just next to our road, a little bit in the trees and in the grasses. And here on the side, then I take the gray again, and I put that on the skin of the birch tree, and also over the brown. So now I can blend a little bit on the paper, while、uh, well, kind of using it as a standard color pencil. I can feel the control, and now I can take a little bit of water and go over the brown that I have put in. Also, put in a little bit of shadow here and there. So I'm using that dark brown to put in just a little bit. Of shadows, and like the sun is coming from the left side, behind that house there. So here, I'm putting in a little bit of water for the shadowy parts、uh, underneath the roof and the door, the little stairs. And in this way, I can start. To become a little bit of a painter. Okay, now the yellow ochre. The birch tree has that in it, and I'm putting in a little bit of yellow ochre, like I'm a drawer again. And、then I can simply take up a little bit of water and dissolve the yellow ochre into the tree. Now for the color black. Now there's a different story. I only pick up a little bit of black with a brush. So I do not go in with the pencil on the paper. 
I only pick up a little bit of pigment and then apply it into my drawing. Black is really black and you do not want your uh, painting or drawing to be uh, become dull. So to keep it bright I'm using it for a little bit of shadow and only from the tip of the point of the pencil. Now what is also very nice is to have so some kind of little bit of sun that is going down and because we have very little colors in this because it's a wintry landscape I thought it would be nice to put in a little bit of yellow for the sun that is setting. It works nice with the yellow ochre in the front of the birch tree and it gives it a little bit of that cold but yet a little bit sunny effect. Now as your drawing is drying you can always go back in it with your uh, fine liner and then you can add a little bit detail if you would need it or a little bit extra shadow and dark parts. I need it here a little bit in the front to uh, get a good feel of what is in front and what is way in the back. And I'm applying a little bit of black again just for those sharp shadows here in the front. This is so much fun to do and I wouldn't have imagined it that um, with so little lines and just a little bit of watercolor pencils I could do this. I hope you've enjoyed it and give it a big like and please try this out. Hope to see you again in one of my other tutorials and see you next time.